I'm going to tell you what, when I say your group, raise your hand. White Avenue Baptist, raise your hand, all those are White Avenue. All right, awesome. And then have the opportunity to have been a part of Tapestry Christian Fellowship for 10 years. Raise your hand, Tapestry, represented well here this morning. And then we have also Spirit of Life. Uh, Bible Church that's represented here where I was just uh, appointed a pastor on August 1st of this year. So I'm getting a lot of tenure now, about seven weeks of tenure. I'm getting pumped up. Uh, new pastors got to get pumped up because you go, if you don't, they're going to pump you down. Amen. Uh, but our Spirit of Life Bible Church, why don't you get ready here? We got a few men here from the. All right. All right. When I get five or six men out with you on Saturday morning at 8 o'clock, but I told them the breakfast was delicious. <laughs> All right. I, I, I couldn't lie about that. I said, come to breakfast, it's delicious. <laughs> and then we have also, we have Abundant Living, probably one of the fastest growing churches in, this, in the empire. We have some men that's represented from that church, and I called them and they said, I'll be there because one of them is also part of United Outreach Ministry. Uh, and that's Randy and Brian Rush. You guys raise your hand. So, and I get the privilege of knowing each and every group. Now, isn't that a special, unique blessing? Amen. How many of you can say that today other than me? Oh, woo, woo, woo for Notre Dame. Go to Dame. Go to Dame. All right. <laughs> All right. We are going to be blessed, but before we get Buster up here, and I'm going to give him a different introduction because I just love this guy. We just, we connected in so many different levels. Only, only level we didn't connect in was in age. He's much older. <laughs> <laughs> but before, we want to give someone else an opportunity because you know what? Throughout the week, we're facing different challenges. I mean, we're, some people are losing jobs. I was listening to the radio. That's something I really get my news when I'm driving in the car. There was like 81,000 jobs lost in California this month. Wow. I mean, wow. people wow. lose jobs like left and right. Okay. So I'm just saying, yes, it's looking at one point, if there's a lot of difficulties that we face, a lot of different challenges. But if there's someone here this morning would like to come up and have just a brief testimony on something maybe that hits you and yet God just really elevated you out of it. We want to take that time before Buster comes because there might be something that you have to say that will bless you more than you, you can even imagine that someone needed to hear that they were, you were able to endure, or able to go through it and persevere. So if there's anyone, just raise your hand. You may just have something you'd like to share. Just come up this real brief. You don't have to make it a long uh, text and subject and so forth. But anyone here this morning, I just have to, have to share something. No? Yes. <laughs> All right. He's a William. Hi, I'm Lindsay from White Avenue Baptist, and uh, I'm the ministry leader for Celebrate Recovery, Recovery here at the church. And God lifted me up out of a 35-year alcohol and drug-induced life. Oh, yeah. Last night we had 19 in our Celebrate Recovery group. Amen. And uh, a miracle, every one of them. If you knew how hard it was to get off drugs or alcohol, you'd be on your knees every morning like I am, praising God. Thank you. Amen. 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 That's awesome. That's awesome. Is anyone else? Because we got Rod's going to be singing for us this morning. Uh, but before Rod comes to sing, before Buster comes, there might be something. If, you know what? If it's tugging on your heart, you know. Don't hold back. This is the, this is an opportunity, and we focus on this. If we get ready to really bust it, I'll get ready to just uh, probably before the end of the year, we'll have 10 churches here on the Saturday morning. Or else where we look. Yes. You know, yes. come on up, G. I call it's, it's GR, but I guess call it G for sure. <laughs> oh, come on up, G. He's not using that right there. He said, oh man, that guy, where is he from? Child Chum, California. <laughs> I'm just thankful that I know God, you know. He walks with me daily. But I had the opportunity of introducing Buster to the Placentia Rotary Club on Wednesday of this week. And guys, he had every man in that room spell. And the testimony that he presents in that book 
whoever has the opportunity, please buy the book from him, because you want to pass it to all the friends that you know that may have struggled somewhere because it has a wonderful, wonderful story. God bless me, and when you sit down to read that book, you can't lay it down until you finish the book. And it's a heartbreaking book, and it has a great ending to it. And the great ending is that God is in control. Amen. And I want to thank you, Buster, and I want to thank you for the program that morning. And I want you to know that I think you've got a wonderful pastor at this church. So he's he's running ahead of me, and I'm learning every step of the way. I'll be I call to see what's going on, uh, but it's a very very special friendship that you know God had a way of connecting us in strange ways. He used to pastor what's called now Tapestry, but it was now it was Rose Drive Baptist Church. Way back then, he helped do a lot of the renovations. A beautiful uh, location, and, and the church is still growing and being blessed. Um, anyone else? Anyone else? We're looking good as far as time. Okay, without any further, I'm going to ask Rod to come up and sing a song, and then after Rod, I'm going to come up and introduce our sp keynote speaker for this morning. And some of you are going to say, man, I should have got up and said it. I had it on. If you want to say it later, just let the Holy Spirit move you, because we don't want to be too, we want to do everything decently in order, but also sometimes the Holy Spirit ministers to us at different times, so just feel free to go forward. Okay, I'll say a few things. Uh, see, about February of this year, I had a biopsy, and they found out I had cancer, which came out of left field, because I am generally a pretty healthy guy, and no high blood pressure or heart issues, nothing, no medication, but... They found uh, cancer in my tonsil, of all places, so I had to go in, like, by March, I was having surgery. It wound up being, like, 10 hours of surgery where they had to go in and actually remove part of my palate and do a skin graft where they took skin from my wrist and veins and tendons and all that and rebuilt, essentially, my mouth. When the doctor came in, you know, they always said, wow, it's really, it's perfect, it's healing perfectly. And in fact, as I have had additional meetings with the doctor, he said, wow, you know, when you have kids who have a cleft palate, they can't eat or talk. He said, you have, I'm having no problem with any of that. So <laughs> I, saw, I know that. It's like, <laughs> it's a miracle. It's really I'm a miracle. Heard, so, yeah. I mean, God has brought me through that whole thing without any radiation or chemotherapy, and, and it really is a real miracle. So I'm, I'm just praising God for that. But you know, the other thing that He showed me, and has continually showing me, is like, you know, as men of God, for example, in this room, this is where the rubber meets the meets the road. Really, if we can't get it right, meaning men from different backgrounds, different races, who love Christ. If we can't get it right, Amen. then our country is not gonna get it right. That's right. This is where it is, guys. Right. We can change this country. That's right. Amen. If we do it one by one, man by man, but starting with our own lives. Amen. Let's make sure that we are not compromising. Let's set it up real straight, guys, and just live our lives straight. I know I was compromising, and I'm putting that out of my life. And I know each one of us may be compromising it just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And God's called us to a higher calling. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So with that, the other thing I got a problem with today is I bought some old technology here with me. I'm, an older guy. <laughs> I'm used to using tapes. They say we don't do tapes here anymore, it's just CDs. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I'm gonna have to sing this song a cappella. All right. Young man. Go back and look up tapes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask you to help me though as I sing this, okay? Here we go. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Yeah. yeah. Jesus is the answer for the world today. 
today. Yes. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. If you've got some questions in the corners of your mind, faces of discouragement and peace you cannot find, mm. reflections of the old man seem to chase you every day. But there's one thing I want you to know, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. I know that you've got mountains that you think you cannot climb. Yes. I know your skies are dark and you think your sun won't shine. Yes. But there's one thing I want you to know. The word of God is true. Yes. And all the things he promised, he will do it for you. Yes. Come on, help me sing more. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Oh, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way, Jesus is the way.